and I'm back with another educational beauty video and in today's video well basically this is the ultimate step-by-step -step tutorial for brows I haven't done one in a while and I know that you guys have been asking for it and I really wanted to show you my ultimate guide to creating the best brow especially when you have sparse brows and you're dealing with a kind of like a bit of boldness there because you might have plucked when you were young and you know you just can't do anything with it now and the hair just decided not to grow back with that first plucking session I've been there done that and I've suffered so I'm going to show you the best brow technique you could possibly have and don't forget that if you like this video give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell button so that you never miss any of my future videos and come and say hi over on Instagram because it will be great to see you there too now let's head straight into this video as you can see, I have absolutely nothing on my brows. I only have my base done and a bit of lip stuff on. So we're gonna get started for this ultimate guide to brows. Now, first thing I'm gonna do is just wax them up so that I can keep them all in place. And usually the product that I use is my Benefit Fluff Up Brow Wax. So I'm just gonna go ahead and apply this. Again, like I said, there's nothing on my brows. So I'm just gonna go through the hair, whatever I actually have. And then I'm gonna press and then lift my finger off. Press, lift my finger off. If you see any hairs that go in a direction that you don't want them going. Like I'm pushing up a bit. So as I'm pressing, I'm pushing up. I mean, you can already see whatever hair there was there, or there is there, you know, it's pushed up and it's gonna stay there now. So that's my first step. You wanna get those hairs in place so that they stay in place. I can honestly tell you that once you've done this step, it will be much easier for you to shape your brows because when you've got kind of unruly brows, or just hair in general that isn't kind of like, hasn't been set, it can end up really kind of changing the way everything applies. So yeah, there you go, that's all set. Now usually what I do is let that dry for a little while, so we are gonna let that dry. God, I haven't done a brow tutorial in ages, and I thought, you know what, if I'm gonna do it, let me show you the ultimate guide to brows, like the ultimate step-by-step. -step. So like showing you exactly how you can make your brows look pretty as close to perfect as you possibly can. We're gonna be using a couple of different products because these products all kind of like provide me with a solution for a problem that I have when it comes to my brow so it doesn't mean that you have to go away and do every single step of this like it could be that one of these steps you're like I really don't need that yeah and I will make sure I tell you which steps are you know they're kind of optional like you don't have to actually do that step but it will still give you a great result like this step is a must like if you're gonna go for like ultimate brows and you want the ultimate guide then honestly this first step is really really good with helping you get that really nice in place brow and slightly kind of laminated look not overly laminated if you have a lot more hair than me then obviously you don't want to push it all the way up it might look a little bit too scary so you even if you were to just do the front section or even just the tail because then it kind of lifts that tail a little bit for you right now that that's all kind of in place we can move on to the next step which is optional you don't have to do this step I like this step because I do have the odd few gray hairs in my brows let me tell you it's like they're trying to announce to the world that hey look I'm grey it's just so annoying so like I like to cover them up so what I want to do is use something which kind of covers up the brow hair like the the grey hair but also it kind of fills in the brow very slightly it's not enough that it's like a great I do it and then I'm done and I can just leave my brows but it is enough that kind of like gives me a little bit of a push towards the right direction so this is my Surat Expressionist Brow Pomade and it is in deep brown so this is actually really good because it's like this brush and basically I just brush this through my hair even after the fact that I've waxed them because they it kind of like stays in place I very lightly go through the hair especially where I kind of see any kind of gray hair And this is just amazing at covering any gray hair. 
There you go, no gray hair anymore. Next up, what I do is I grab hold of my Lime Crime Bushy Brow Pen, and this is in baby brown. It's the most ultra fine brow pen you will ever find, and it's just so good. It's honestly so, so good. First step that I do with this is I wanna basically just replicate hair. So I draw little hairs, but the front section only, because I just wanna get that out of the way. It really annoys me when the front section of the brow isn't shaped. Like for me, trying to shape the brow without that front section done is a little bit difficult. So what I'm doing is basically holding the mirror very close and drawing hairs in. But what I'm doing is I'm doing it from the front. You can see there's a little kind of dip there because I'm actually doing it lower. So I'm basically wanting to bring my brow down a bit because it's just, they are as high as I want them to be and I don't want them any higher than that. So I like to thicken my brow by mainly applying product along the bottom section of the brow. If you have not a lot of space there and you feel like your brow, brows need to be higher, then you want to basically flip it. So do this, but higher, right? So you're doing it at the top part of your brow. Now I'm following the natural direction that my hair is going. And I'm doing this about a quarter of the way in. There you go, I'm happy with that. Sometimes I just go over to kind of like add more depth there. You can already see how much thicker the front section is. We're gonna do this on the other side, but just wanna add a little, there you go. Now I know it looks a bit weird, but trust me on this. We're gonna do the front section. Then we are gonna move on to the next step, which is using my Benefit Precisely, my brow pencil, this is 3.5. Now we're not gonna to touch the front section of the brow. We're gonna actually just do little feather strokes to shape the brow from the part that we stopped at for the front section. So what I'm doing is basically starting from the point where I finished that front section because it was all thin there, right? So I'm thickening it up using a pencil now because I this is the section where I have quite sparse hair. There's not a lot of hair there. So using a pen like this is great, but it can end up looking almost felt pen-like. You know, like it doesn't, you can end up, because you're just drawing on skin. You know, when you get a felt pen and you draw on your skin, not that you should do that, but you know, when you were younger, you did. You know, And, and you can see that kind of stain there. That's what it ends up looking with any brow pen. So what you want is something which is a lot more matte, something that it doesn't look shiny, something that is really gonna kind of like just fill that space in a little bit. So I've done that there. Now what I do is I have another mirror over there, which basically gives me a rough idea from like, if I look away from it, like I'm further away from it, like what my shape is kind of looking like. So you can already see, we filled that section there. See how we haven't filled that yet, the difference. And then we get to where the arch should be. Now the arch should be a quarter of the way in from the end of the eye. So if you get a brush and you basically hold it in the middle of your lip and skim past the end of your eye, that is where your brow should end. Can you see mine's a bit shorter? So we're gonna lengthen it shortly. Now your arch should be from the center of the lip, lid, it skims past your nostril and then that's where your arch should be. Now, it sh I always say a quarter of the way from the end of the, a quarter of the way from the end of the brow, because then it, it's close as you can get to the placement of where this is. So I am going to now start the wing and this is where I'm just gonna kind of like draw this in. And I'm just doing little hair strokes. It's obviously not gonna look as kind of like thin and hair-like as using a pen, but it still doesn't look so harsh as drawing it all the way in, you know? And I'm just gonna lift this area at the top here. It's the only place that I usually lift a little bit. Cause like I said, I feel like my brows are high enough. But sometimes it just needs a little nudge. I'm really happy with this. I feel like probably just Darken that area. I've got a nice lift there. And then I just kind of like check how long my brow is. Like, am I happy with that amount? I'm really happy with that brow. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and do the other one now. So remember, you're just doing kind of like 
short strokes and it will gradually start filling the area in. Now that we've done that, I'm really liking the shape and everything of my brows. What I do is I get a lip brush, which my one is from Zoeva. It's got a tiny bit of concealer on there, right? Tiny bit, not a lot, hardly anything on there. And then what I do is I just kind of like go around my brow and anywhere I feel like I have kind of like maybe, you know, like gone a little bit too far up or it's a bit higher than the other I kind of like bring it back down to ground so I'm just kind of like leveling them out I don't know I guess I'm a bit of a kind of like I am a bit OCD when it comes to trying to get them symmetrical. So I'm happy with that. That's basically the end of my brows. Now what I do do as well is I actually go into my powder with my Real Techniques brush. I get the smallest amount of powder on there though, not a lot. This is just my normal translucent powder. And then I go over my brows. And this just kind of like sets them. But I'm sure you've seen that my brows were literally nothing like this at the beginning. So hopefully you've seen how you can really kind of change up your brows. And yeah, I really do hope you've enjoyed this video. It's a very simple video, very easy to do. It's my ultimate guide because honestly, if I were to do my brows on a daily basis and I had the time to do it, like when I do have the time and it's a special occasion, this is what I do. This is my ultimate step-by-step -step brow tutorial. So I really do hope you've enjoyed it. and. Wherever you are in the world, I'm sending you loads of love. Please don't forget to let me know what you think in the comments below. I would love to hear your thoughts. If there's a specific way that you do your brows, maybe let me know below. Like if you have any suggestions on brow products, I'd love to know from you so that I could try them out too. And obviously don't forget, if you do like this video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell button so that you never miss any of my future videos. Until the next video, take care and I'll see you soon.